Hey, how's it going guys? In this Google Sheets API in Python tutorial, we're going to learn how to insert rows and columns. Let me pull out the documentation. To insert rows and columns, we'll be using the insert dimension request to perform this task. And this object takes two parameters, range object and inherit from before parameter. The inherit from before parameter is optional. And I won't go into too much detail on how to use this parameter. And just because uh, it's a bit more complicated to understand how uh, this setting works. So I'll be using the range object for this demonstration. All right, so here let's go into our Python editor. Here let me create a variable called sheet ID. And if I go to my Google Sheets, I'll be using my rows column operation worksheet for demonstration. Let's say I want to insert three columns uh, after column B. So uh, if we if we run the script, it's going to look like this. So we're going to uh, insert three columns after column B and four rows after row number two. So we're going to insert uh, four empty rows. So our expect result is going to look like this. So four empty rows after row number two and three empty columns after column B. Now let me delete the columns. Here let me grab the worksheet ID. I'm going to store the ID in the sheet ID variable. Next, I'm going to create my request body object. And I need to insert the requests object. And since I'll be inserting both columns and rows, so I need to insert two dictionaries to perform two separate actions. Oops, let me close this. Within the first dictionary, I'm going to type insert dimension. Inside the insert dimension object, I need to provide the range. Within the range object, I need to provide the sheet ID, the dimension. I'm going to type columns, uppercase, for the start index. Since I'm inserting at the column C, so D, E, and F, so this should be three. For the n index, it's going to be 5. And since the index is inclusive, so that means I want to insert one extra column in column E as well. Now that's everything we need to provide to the insert dimension object. I'm going to copy this object and copy and paste to the other dictionary. I'm going to change the dimension from columns to rows. And for the start index, I'm going to start from uh, row number three. And because I want to insert four rows, my n index is going to be five. Now I can make my API request call. So I insert my service object, that spreadsheets, that batch update. For the spreadsheet ID parameter, I'm going to provide the spreadsheet ID variable. For the body parameter, I'll insert the body request object, the asset queue. Now if I run the script, and if I go to my spreadsheets, and two columns got inserted, and three rows got inserted, so it's not four, so I'm missing Oh, okay. So I got, so I got mixed up. So five minus three is two columns. So why is she inserting from, uh, column D? So this should be column D. And based on the index value, why is she inserting two columns? So two columns. And similarly this one. So this should be, uh, row number three. And based on the N index, why inserting three rows? So, Two rows from row number three. 
So this is I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. For the next video, I will show you how to use Google Sheets API to move rows and columns.